I'm Anna from Babble Dabble Do. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my family's favorite projects. It's uh, a double project actually. The first project is Magic Milk, which is a classic science project. And the second part of it is we're going to turn this Magic Milk science experiment into pretty marbled paper. So it's kind of a hybrid science art project. And I've done this with preschool kids, I've done it with older kids. They love it. And depending on their age, they're either gonna get maybe more out of the magic milk part than the paper making part, or older kids tend to like creating all the pretty papers um, that you can get from this project. So what I love most about this project is really easy. And it really only takes a few ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just how easy this project is and let's get started. Now one thing that I want to talk about is you can use this, um, you can do the magic milk experiment with regular milk or almond milk. Uh, this may come into play if you have kids with different allergies. Um, some kids have milk allergies, some kids might have a nut allergy, there might be vegan kids that you're working with. So I have used both almond milk and regular uh, milk and both have worked very well. And I'm gonna give you a little tip. The, the paper after you do this does not smell. I get that question all the time, um, but it doesn't smell. Okay, so here I am, I'm gonna get started on this project. So the first step is you wanna have some type of shallow container. Um, I like to use plates. You can use a paper plate. Um, because we're gonna be using a lot of liquids, you might wanna get the coated uh, styrofoam plates, but just something simple and disposable. Another tip is to have a pouring area. So maybe a piece of a Tupperware or something like that that you can pour the milk in after. Because the one thing about this project is it invites a lot of iterations. So kids are gonna wanna try it, they're gonna make the marbled milk, and then they're gonna wanna try it again and you're gonna have to dump it out. Because once you swirl it a bunch of times, it does tend to get muddied. So the first step is you're gonna pour a little bit of milk into the bottom of a plate. You don't need a lot. I remember the first time I did this project, I bought like five gallons of milk and I really only needed one or less. So you don't need a ton of milk to do this. And basically you're gonna pour a, a layer of milk in the bottom of your plate. And then you're gonna drop a few drops of food coloring into the milk. Okay. There you have it. Okay, now here's the fun part, and this is why this project is called Magic Milk. So what we're gonna do is we're going to introduce soap into milk. Milk has a lot of fat content in it, and so the molecules, the fatty molecules in the milk are going to be attracted to the soap. This is actually why soaps are able to pull out um, dirt from dirty clothes, etc. So you're gonna see these molecules rush around right now, See that? As they are attracted to each other. And so as they try to bond, the fat and the soap molecules, they cause these beautiful explosions. And isn't that beautiful? Uh, and then this, this, so that kind of magic moment of an explosion happens quite briefly. And so then what I ask kids to do is to typically just start gently moving their Q-tip through the milk to make sort of a marbled, um, to make a marbled composition, or it's just sort of fun. You don't have to get too technical with it. And that's basically the first part of this project. What I'm gonna show you is kind of a fun trick is if you take a piece of watercolor paper, and what I like to do, here's a, here's a handy tip. Things like watercolor paper are a little more expensive. Um, and since you're gonna be doing this project with a lot of kids, they're gonna be going through it quite a bit cut your paper into little pieces. That way you can get six or seven prints out of one regular size sheet of watercolor paper. We're gonna dip it, one, two, three, and then gently remove it. And see that, you get kind of this fun marbled look. And I try to make a few prints, you'll get a few prints out of these each time before it gets too muddied. And then I let these dry for basically until they're dry. It probably takes about an hour. And like I said, I have never had any issue with the milk paper smelling afterwards. Oh, look at that. We just got a 
kind of a crazy reaction from some dish soap. So kids can continue also. I mean, if you're not so interested in making the paper, um, kids can continue to work with the, the marbled milk look and make kind of rivers and color compositions and stuff like that. And that's it. Take care.